The Hatch 2.1 adds seven new fonts for the digitizer level. I don't know about you, but fonts are one of those things I can never have too many of. This selection features fun fonts plus those staples you'll use over and over. So here you can see a screenshot of the different fonts and we'll look at each one individually. Of course, the really great thing about all Hatch fonts is that they're fully editable and resizable. Here's a little doggy bandana I customized with four of the new fonts and it only took minutes to design. So let's take a look at each of these new fonts. The way I've laid these out is you can see the font name, the size, a few sample letters, and some sample text. What I did was this line up here is the smallest size you can make. So eight millimeters for this, and it ranges up to 50 millimeters. So 50 millimeters is about two inches, for those of you that don't speak metric. Six millimeters or so is about a quarter of an inch. So it's a little more than a quarter of an inch. And you can see that these are really nice looking letters. Bauhaus is a clean, easy to read font. It sort of has an art deco feel, and it's popular with graphic designers. This is what I use for the name Riley on my doggy bandana. Carla is the next sample. Carla is a casual stylized fun script. I used it for that large F on the doggy bandana. This font can go as small as six millimeters, which as I said before, is about a quarter of an inch and 50 millimeters is about two inches. Keltenham Tall is a condensed serif and it's perfect for when you need to squeeze a longer line of text into a smaller space. Now, if you've ever tried to squish letters horizontally, you know that they can get distorted. A condensed font can give you the height for readability without taking up too much width. This font can be sized up to 75 millimeters, which is about three inches. Croissant is another fun font with great size flexibility. It's stylized without being too fussy. And you can see that the little pieces of the letters look like croissants. Microblock can go as small as four millimeters, which is only five thirty-seconds of an inch tall, practically microscopic. Small fonts are especially difficult to digitize well, and having a good, clean, readable, tiny font to use is really a good thing to have. Now this is an uppercase only font. As you can see by the second line of text, we have no lowercase. That's because these are so small. It does have a much smaller size range, four to eight millimeters. So you need to keep that in mind. And I use this for that word bestest with the any shape baseline that I curved over the F on the bandana. Run Cardigan is a stylized run stitch font. I particularly like run stitch fonts for things like hankies, dedications on christening gown slips and quilt labels. And having another choice is great. Now, unlike the other fonts that I've shown you so far, this is an AD font, which means as digitized. All the other ones in this new set are closest joined for maximum flexibility and minimum visible travel stitches. Now, speaking of wedding hankies, here's where I've actually used that font. And you can see the blue text here. Now, if you can see this pink ampersand here, let me just zoom in on that. That pink ampersand is in the background. And what I did for that one, I used the next font I'm going to show you, which is Souvenir, used the ampersand, did the outline trick using the Create Outlines and Offsets, and then I just deleted the satin stitch letter. And here's font number seven, Souvenir. Souvenir is technically classified as an old style serif, but I don't think it looks old. I kind of like it. I really like the softer curves and slightly stylized letters like you see here. Now when you have a font that has serifs and thick and thin areas, sometimes you have a more limited range of sizeability, but this one has a pretty good range, six millimeters at the smallest, which is a quarter of an inch, and 40 millimeters at the top. These size ranges are the recommendations for these fonts. Hatch won't prevent you from going larger or smaller, but you'll probably have to do some adjustments for a successful sewn result. This is a beautiful font, and in addition to using it on that wedding hanky that we just saw, I used it on the doggy bandana from the green letters in the Friends Forever part down at the bottom. I'm sure you'll love using these new fonts and combining them in your own creative projects.